Steve here with the janitorialstore.com, the channel where we help cleaning business owners scale their businesses with systems, controls, tools, and resources. How to send a email video proposal. Well, you know, it's pretty common nowadays that when we meet with a prospect, or let's say we don't meet with them, they just call us on the phone and they tell us that they've got a facility that they like to get a price on cleaning. And in that case, more often than not, you know, they'll just say, well, just send me the, just email me the proposal. Well, in that case, what you can do is you want to go ahead and create a video proposal. And the best way to do that is to just go ahead and download uh, uh, some software like Snagit. Um, that works very well. That's what I use. Uh, just download that and you're going to be able to record that uh, off of your computer. So, and what you do is that you just go ahead and you, you, you create your proposal and bring it up on the screen, then you bring snag it in and click a few buttons to videotape that and then you're going to go ahead and present the proposal to the prospect. Well, in fact, I, I, did, a, I did an example, so uh, go ahead and check this out. Mr. Johnson, I want to thank you for allowing me to present this proposal for cleaning for the Johnson Center. You'll see that we have our table of contents and then we have our, our cover letter. Uh, again, you know, I'd just like to say thank you for meeting with me on the 1115 to do a walkthrough of your facility so you can sh uh, show me what it is that you wanted. Um, also, you know, we are committed to employee training, follow-up, and communication with our clients. That's what separates us from our competition. On this page here, this is our organization. It all starts with me, Steve Hansen, the president. Uh, you can see with my, my bio that I've got uh, extensive experience in the cleaning industry and um, have uh, done business with mo uh, many clients and many companies uh, within the city. You can also review my, my uh, vice president and my manager's bio. Um, and feel free if you have any questions to contact any one of us, uh, any one of us can uh, uh, take care of uh, any of your needs. The associations and the organizations that we belong to are the janitorial store. The janitorial store is an online community where we uh, send our employees uh, and uh, supervisors and managers to get training. Um, on there, they've got a couple of LMS learning management systems uh, that we use for our video training on, on cleaning and um, management. We also are members of the Chambers of Commerce. Uh, we've been members there for 10 years and are actively involved with the community. We also are members of IICRC, uh, the Institute of Inspection, Cleaning and Restoration Certification. Now, what this means to you is that uh, one source facility care is actually taking the time to get certified in a number of different areas, such as carpet cleaning, floor care, and so on and so forth. Um, that means that when we clean your facility, we're not going to be practicing. We actually have the knowledge uh, of how to maintain and take care of the surfaces within your facility. As I said earlier, our commitment to uh, is training. Um, we believe that our best resource is our employees and our team. And uh, you can see a list there of uh, training programs that we provide uh, our team. Uh, to begin with, you know, it's infection control training, and then we have hazardous communication, bloodborne pathogens. Um, you know, those are uh, very, very important, especially today with uh, the pandemic going on. Other things you can see there is that we have quality control and follow up. Uh, these are all uh, things that we take very seriously. Uh, our quality control reports are done on a regular basis. And for your facility, they will be done one, one time per week. And we actually use an app for that. And we can actually send you or your manager a report uh, of each one of those quality control uh, reports that, we, that are done. Uh, we also take complaints seriously. Uh, that is why we have a follow-up system in, in, in place. And uh, we will actually send you and or your manager 
uh, a follow-up report of any complaint that was has been uh, also as i said you know communication is very important to us and that's why here uh, we uh, handle it in a number of different ways uh, we have a communication logbook at each facility and we also use an app uh, that's part of our software that we use uh, for communication company-wide and with our clients uh, we also communicate with email telephone text and of course in person Vendors that we use, uh, here we have ABC uh, Supply Company. Uh, we've been using this supply company for quite some time. Uh, uh, you may even know uh, John Smith, uh, the president and CEO of uh, ABC Supply, and or maybe even his manager, Joe Black. Our customer satisfaction is very important to us at One, one Source Facility Care. So here what we have done is we've listed some features that we offer that are benefits to you such as our being bonded and insured, you know, an employee training, uh, building inspections, quality control, and uh, managing supplies, and uh, cleaning certifications. The reason why I bring these forward to you is because that they are benefits to you and it's to ensure that you have a peace of mind that you have a, a building service contractor that, um, that actually has the experience and knowledge to, to handle your facility and keep it uh, in, uh, in good hands. This page here is a certificate of insurance. Uh, it's not the actual certificate. The, this here is giving you information uh, to prove that we actually do have uh, uh, insurance. And uh, once we are awarded this a contract, then our insurance company will mail you uh, the actual certificate of insurance. On this page here is this is an example of our of our invoice. Uh, you will re receive invoices once a month for the services rendered, um, and you can see that uh, you know we have a description. We also have the rate, and uh, obviously for cleaning we're going to have to charge uh, uh, sales tax uh, for the for the state. On the next page here, what we have is we have a scope of work. Now, this is the scope of work of the tasks that we will perform in your facility. Um, it is a five day per week service. So there's a lot of things that are gonna be done five days per week. Um, in that first example in the restrooms, you can see a majority of things are done five days. And then one day per week, we will pour water down the floor drain. And the reason we do that is to eliminate odors that come from the, the floor drain when it dries out. On our next page here, we have the, the prices uh, for services and supplies. And as I said, you know, this uh, service will be a five day per service, uh, five day per week service, and we, and it will be after 6 p.m. in the evening. Uh, your investment for this service is uh, $4,700 per month. And uh, you, as, as I said earlier, you can review the scope of work to, to see ex exactly what you get for that. And also I wanna let you know that there will not be a first time cleaning charge uh, to bring your location up to standards. Actually what we'll do there is we'll um, break up the building into sections and we'll actually detail a section each time we come in to clean until the entire facility is brought up to standard. Down below here you can see that I've actually listed the, uh, the following services that we, that we are, uh, can provide for you. Uh, carpet spotting at $30 per hour, and then uh, carpet cleaning and burnishing VCT, stripping and waxing VCT, uh, washing inside windows and outside windows. And then also we can provide your restroom supplies and, and trash can liners. And uh, those are the prices for the, the, uh, um, the supplies that you have at your facility. Our terms and conditions, um, this is very straightforward. You know, but uh, the, the cleaning chemicals and equipment to, be, to perform the service will be supplied by one source facility care. Restroom supplies, trash can liners will be provided by the Johnson Center. And as I said, you can actually purchase those from one source facility care uh, at the prices listed. Now, in the event that the agreement proves unsatisfactory, either party can give a 30 day notice. So we're not going to tie you into a one year long contract to where 
we have the right to, to the right to fix and, and uh, different uh, uh, strategies like that just to prolong us to have the account. Uh, it's plain and simple for us that we just we perform our job, we do it well, and we take care of the customer. Um, if for any reason that uh, you're not happy, you just give us a 30-day notice and and then we'll end service. As I said, the, the payment terms here, uh, invoices for the cleaning services are mailed out on the 25th of each month for the upcoming uh, month of service. And, uh, you know, payment is due upon receipt. And again, our cleaning price is $4,700 for this facility. Now your facility is 56,000 square feet. So you'll see that that is a very competitive price. Now, anything additional requested uh, that wasn't included in the, in the, in their specifications uh, can be added to your invoice, uh, such as power washing can be, pre, uh, be provided per request. Our services will begin on January 1, 2021. And uh, this has been quoted by me, Steve Hansen, uh, president of the Jan of uh, uh, One Source Facility Care. On our last page, you will see our, uh, that we ha actually have our list of references. Uh, I'm sure you might even recognize some of these, uh, these names, but uh, please feel free to contact these references and uh, ask them questions about the services that we've been providing to them. Now, if everything is on satisfactory, I'd, I'd uh, uh, ask you to go ahead and sign the acceptance of the proposal and uh, send it back to me. And we'll be more than happy to work with your manager to get things set up to have an easy transition from uh, January 1. Thank you again for your time. I certainly appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you. Well, I hope that's really clear to you as far as how you want to put your proposal together. Now, the one that I did there had multiple pages, obviously. And your proposal could be anything from a three page to multiple pages. Um, in either case, you know, if you set it up right in your practice, you can go ahead and record that and present that to the, uh, to your decision maker, you know, because that's half the battle that we're, that we're fighting is that when some of these people call us, they're not necessarily the decision maker. And, you know, that's the whole thing is that we want to be in front of the decision maker whenever possible. If we can't be there in person, well, the next best thing is to do a video proposal. And that's exactly what you do. Uh, like I say, um, you can create any type of proposal you want, um, depending on the, the type of facility that you're, that you're bidding on. And, you know, that's going to determine really what's going to be inside that proposal. Uh, the one that I did for an example there is kind of just a basic thing. Uh, you may not have a, in, an invoice exa example in there, um, you know, or you might have, you might not have some of them other pages. But the whole thing is, is that try to match your proposal based on the facility type that you're bidding on. Now, some of these RFPs can be multiple pages to where your, your proposal itself could be binders. Of course, that's going to be pretty difficult for you to do a video pr presentation, and, and in most cases, for large facilities like that, you're going to be presenting in person. They're not the people that are calling you and saying, hey, you know, we want you to give us a price on this cleaning. Oh, and, and by the way, just go ahead and email the proposal to us. So keep that in mind, you know, because the people that are uh, asking you to email these are typically smaller projects, uh, small to medium projects. Um, but go ahead and do that. You know, uh, go ahead and select your proposal, create your templates. You know, you can do that all from the janitorial store. And once you select your templates and stuff, put it together, put the information in there, and then go ahead and do a few dry runs. You know, videotape yourself and, and just go through it presenting the proposal. Um, you may see that you may have a better chance of winning the proposal by doing this. Uh, you know, and the facts are is that odds are that we do increase our chances of closing the deal if we can present in person. Well, this is the next best thing. So go ahead and try this. Uh, let us know how, what your results are, you know, because it will make a difference. Uh, whenever you can present the proposal yourself, rather than having this third party read your proposal or hand it off to somebody else, 
um, it just makes a huge difference. So go ahead and try it. Um, you know, you post your post your experiences on it, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully this was of some value to you. And if it was, you know, make some comments down below and share. And like I say, you know, share your results with us. Uh, and if you have not already, you know, make sure that you subscribe and uh, make sure you turn on those bell notifications to get other notifications of videos that we've done uh, to help build a successful cleaning business. Cool. Thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you next time.